begin with an update to an Operation Safe Roads report. No school zone signs outside of Southeast Valley Elementary School. And as town leaders work to come up with solutions, concerned parents and now even their kids, they want to take matters into their own hands. Sure do. ABC 15's Ashley Holden is live right outside Robert Rice Elementary near Ocotillo and Val Vista. And Ashley, it's been a week since your story first aired. I can imagine these families want some answers. And parents tell me that they have been actually trying to get a school zone here for almost two years. The speed limit right now still 45 miles per hour. Tonight, I press Gilbert Town leaders for a timeline. It's it's infuriating. It's so it makes us angry for our kids. How often do you see people speeding here every day? It's almost daily that we see close calls. Robert Rice elementary parents say they're fed up. We'll have the art club make one and put it up. This is an elementary school. You've got cars full of families coming in and out of the school. Jenna Bishop is the school's PTO vice president and has spent the last 22 months trying to get a school zone and signs put in place. I think there's a lot of stakeholders involved in the actual like development of the road and the development of the area that it's just kind of gotten lost in a shuffle and maybe our voices just aren't loud enough. The school opened in 2020 as part of the Chandler Unified School District. It has a Gilbert address, though, and sits right on the corner of the two municipalities. Gilbert Town staff told me there were intermittent construction zone projects planned in the area that would lower the speed limit. But once the first project finished, there was a delay in the second. We're told the town was planning to put 35 mile per hour school zone signs up as soon as possible, but they wouldn't give me a specific timeline. And one week later, there are still no signs. We reached back out to the town Wednesday and we're told their traffic team is coordinating with Chandler on the placement of the signs and the goal is to have them up in the next couple of weeks. I hesitate to base my hopes on that yeah. um, only because I've been told that over and over. You know, the signs are coming after this and after this and after this and it just still hasn't happened. I also asked Gilbert Police whether they'd be getting involved in the meantime. The department tells us they've been made aware of the concerns and will now have an increased presence outside Rice Elementary cracking down on speeding drivers. For Operation Safe Roads, I'm Ashley Holton. It's tough to understand why they can't get some temporary signs out.